What's up you guys? Today we are hitting 21.3 and 21.4 back to back. The open announcement was last night. We've seen a couple scores out there and we're gonna go attack it today. All right, in the video today, we're gonna talk about how I warm up for something like this, where there's a Metcon into a heavy lift. We're gonna watch me hit the workout, and then we're also gonna watch my buddy Ethan hit the workout, and then we're gonna have some fun. Okay guys, we're gonna talk about how I warm up for something, a workout like this. So when we first get to the gym, because it's so many squats, I'm gonna really focus on loosening up my hips and my quads, knowing that I'm more of a quad dominant athlete. I'm also gonna wanna loosen up my lats and my front rack position, uh, just to make sure that everything's moving smoothly through all the front squats, the thrusters, and then the heavy lift, and also the gymnastics. Having your lats loosened up is gonna be super important. After we finish stretching, we're gonna jump on the bike for just about 10 minutes, nice and easy, just to get the blood flowing. Then we're gonna move into some smaller muscle groups. Then we'll move into some leg swings, some scap circles, and then some squat thoracic rotations, as well as some handstand holds, just to finish priming the body. And then we're gonna start moving into some more movement specific work. For me, I did five kip swings, five toes to bar, three strict pull-ups, and then we did a little bit of a barbell complex. We're moving empty bar, um, just flowing through the different movements. The final part of the warm up isn't gonna include full movements from the workout. This is priming our body for the pace we're gonna hit while we're working out. So we're doing full movements, practicing transitions, moving from barbell to gymnastics bar, and making sure the heart rate's up on some assault bike sprints. So I'm hoping on 21.4 I'll be able to hit anything over 315 for the complex. Um, my max clean and jerk is 360. Um, so if it was just a regular clean and jerk, obviously I'd want to hit something closer to that. But watching the open announcement, um, even easy, he kind of went slower through the workout hoping to get a little heavier weight. At least that's what it's look, it looked like. Um, and he was having trouble with 315. So I think anything over 315, it's going to put me in a good spot. Maybe we can get like 330-ish, but I don't know how the workout's going to feel yet, so we'll see. <laughs> hey guys, really quick, if you could smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, means a ton to me, helps me out a ton. Now we can get back to me dying in this workout. They have to load their own barbell. We can't help them load their barbell. And honestly, when you're when you're tired like he is right now, like it's a game changer. Yeah. Having to bend over, load your own weight, like it's a game changer. All right, you guys, we just finished that workout. I'll be 100% honest, it wrecked me. Absolutely destroyed me. Got something to work on. Um, 
Started out great. I broke early knowing the muscle ups are gonna get hard. So I went 12, 10, 8 on the toaster bar. Just quick breaks. And then even on the first set of thrusters, I felt my grip. I was like, oh, this will be interesting. Chest bar went fine. Did the thrusters. Heart rate was a little higher. Got to the muscle ups, hit a set of eight. I was hoping to start with 12. I hit eight and then I did four. And then it went downhill very quickly. Just, I was doing like two or three muscle ups at a time. Um, and then I got to the last set of thrusters and my traps and my neck at nine reps just started like feeling like they were on fire. And my vision started getting blurry. And I was like, you gotta hold on to these thrusters. In reality, I probably should have just dropped it, took a breath and kept going. And then I laid on the floor for like two minutes and didn't move because I couldn't see anything. I started loading the barbell. I finished with 275, which I think will be okay. Um, not what I wanted to hit, but it'll get the job done. And now we got more work to do. So, Dylan was talking to me about paces earlier, probably about an 8:30 or 9 minute pace. And so I think there's no point in going unbroken on the gymnastics, just because the muscle ups is really where that's made. So I'm gonna try to save myself a little bit, break my toast bar, my chest bar a little early, just to save myself for the muscle ups, so I can probably get it in two or three big sets and set myself up for a huge clean at the end. So let's get it. Come on, just get two at a time. Come on. Okay, 90 reps at 95. It's gonna smoke us that much. That was heavy. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah, man. I'm pretty good at Ollie. It's the worst hand cleans I've ever felt in my whole life. <laughs> no posterior. Really? Dude, it's on my butt, man. All right, one of the most difficult parts of this entire workout for me personally was finishing the workout and getting ready for the one rep max. Um, my head was spinning, I was all over the place, I couldn't really think straight, my body was just aching, couldn't feel my arms from the muscle ups into the thrusters. So my advice for everyone who's hitting this workout is lay down, get your heart rate down, a cool little study that my nutrition coach told me about, get something sweet into your mouth, so whether that's Gatorade or a pre-workout that's sweet, it can actually get your muscles to recover quicker, fun little fact. Um, Make sure you're taking the time to hit some lighter weights, not the full complex. For me, I did a power clean and a jerk building up until my first attempt. And again, get that heart rate back down, big breaths, sit down, lay down, whatever you need to do. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video if you liked it. If you're still watching, comment your time for 21.3, the weight you hit for 21.4. And if you didn't do the workout, comment your favorite lift that you do in the gym and why you do it. Also, we are looking for video ideas. So if you guys have any yeah. ideas that we can do for you, that'd be great. In the comments. In the comments. Like the video if you comment too, because. Yeah, if you're, if you're commenting and not liking, like, what's the point? What are you doing? Come on. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you. So Dallin, in the last video you saw, there was a challenge. If anyone beat his time, he would give a Gymshark shirt to that athlete. And uh, Dallin, who, who DM'd you? I got a little message from Tia Claire to me, and obviously she beat me, but uh, she was just messing with me, it was pretty funny. 
Uh, she's an awesome person, awesome athlete. So definitely watch out for her this year. And she's just, she's just cool. She took the time to watch my video, send me a message. It was fun. So shout out Tia for uh, watching the videos. Uh, hopefully. So if Tia, if Tia can watch the videos, you can watch the videos. <laughs> and you can subscribe to the videos. <laughs> subscribe to our content. We've got new stuff coming out every week. This is the open um, playlist if you want to watch all the previous videos. And uh, we've got more coming out. So today we've got 21.3 and 4. And after that we've got the, we've got the games, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got the, the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals. Quarter and then finals. the games. And then the championships, right? I mean, the <laughs> quarterfinals, semifinals, crossfinals. <laughs> <laughs>